Um, do one of you want to tell the audience why we're here, what's going on? I feel like you should do the honors. Oh yeah, do it. Do it. Do as it, the do as it. the visitor. As the bit. I'm I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the whole Where do you normally live? <laughs> I'm normally in Seattle, but I'm currently in New York City. We are all City. in New York City. So we're in Hexaco. I don't even know if they can see. We're in Hexaco Company, uh, in Union Square, in Lower Manhattan, and uh, we're we're playing live because we can. You know, and, and you're not going to see me because I'm off camera, sitting off to the other side. But the players are the most important, so you'll see them. You'll see them react to the shit that I say. That'll be great. <laughs> Um, excuse the background noise, excuse the music in the background, all of this is out of my control. Um, but we're going to jump right in. Mm. The story Pretzel thus far, <laughs> the story thus far, um, I'm going to kick it all the way back. I'm going to give like, since this is session six, I'll kick it all the way back to the very beginning. The story began uh, in the town of Skoda. Uh, we first met Dr. Ford, who was doing a late night stroll around, received a missive with some instructions. Um, from there, we hopped over to um, uh, Skoda's largest institution, where we were, uh, where we met Dr. Jones, Shorty, and Prendergast. Um, right, all of you coming together after Jones finishing a class, you step in, and you meet. Um, there's another doctor waiting in your room, um, Dr. Thorin. He instructs. He lets you know that a much sought after hidden shrine has finally been located. And there is, there is, like, haste is of the utmost importance because this place is also being sought after by the Dread Vale who want to find this place and destroy it. So far as you know, this place has been untouched since the shattering. This will be the first time anyone sets foot in this place. Uh, little, next to nothing is known about it besides the fact that it has been rumored to exist and now there is evidence of it. So you all set out, you, uh, the four of you meeting together on an airplane, for many hours you spend on this airplane, you have some conversations, you arrive, uh, you are met with a small group of people. Um, the group is in a small clearing just outside. Uh, there is a human uh, by the name of Nova and a dwarf by the name of Astrid. And they let you know that they just basically got there a little more recently. They tried to do some scouting. They sent their only scout, uh, Phelan, off to see to scope the area but they couldn't actually uh figure it out because Phelan never came back she's missing you hmm? you're still looking for Phelan um don't know what happened to her um so you all set out as you start making your way um some supernatural presence kind of starts to crowd around you you start running you fall through the ground you end up deep inside the belly of the shrine that you had just been looking for um, you get through the first series of rooms, you get into a room with a sarcophagus um, when you are joined by Ares who found some pretty big evidence and tracks and things that you had all left behind. Uh, Ares joins the group of you. You all have a pretty harrowing battle with a resurrected uh, Tolocas Popolocas. He at the last minute turns into a bat, flies away. You continue searching through, you go back into the room with the crab, you start going down, you descend into a slightly deeper part of this shrine, you interact with, uh, uh, you, you break down a door, the door floods all of you out into the hallway, you proceed, uh, thanks to Dr. Ford, Dr. Jo Dr. I need name tags, I need fucking name tags. Dr. Ford um, doing some clever water so that uh, uh, Gulliver it doesn't have to take water damage while he's in there destroying the room and everything. You manage to come around and you enter a room where you see there's just giant mass in the room and this brings us into our last game. There's a giant mass. Um, through some clever thinking, uh, Ares manages to levitate Dr. Ford and Gulliver gives it a little shove so that, Gull so that Dr. Ford is slowly floats out into the middle of the room and interacts tied, tied with... To <laughs> tied to a rope. Um, and interacts with, a, a, I'll call him uh, an eccentric snail, a giant eccentric mm. snail, who immediately assumes that you are all there for him and him alone to pay tribute and to worship him after many, many, many years of not actually having seen anyone, no one paying tribute, poor, poor fucking snail. 
like a bowl of some shit. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so you you Makes all you all try to um, do your best to appease the snail. I don't have to. Mm. There is um, there is some some hasty conversations that happen. You manage to convince the snail that you are indeed there for him. However, the, the, the offerings that you had brought with you died. And so you told him you were going to go out, get more provisions for him, and return. You leave the room. You go back up to a room where Ares had previously heard some melodies. You walk into the room very gently. You are greeted with what you eventually learn is like a fake creature that comes out of the water, has a conversation with all of you, and then proceeds to attack you. Um, touches Dr. Jones, immediately withdraws the air from Jones's body, attempts to do the same to Ares, but it doesn't work, and so very quickly reacts by spitting in Ares' face, blinding her. Um, Gulliver rages, teleports, deals a swift amount of damage, um, and then uh, I think Dr. Ford, you also did some damage, if I'm not mistaken. I tried. No, I think I did. I, I, I did, did. Oh. one hit out mm -hmm. of three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just going to try just to help him. Just wiping blind. Mm -hmm. but I never got to do it. And this, this fake creature, realizing that you are much stronger than she initially gave you credit for, halts the battle and lets you know that she um, that she and all the other inhabitants of this shrine are protecting something that is potentially very dangerous and best left untouched but you all know that there is no such thing as an untouched magical artifact of, or any kind of artifact any relic anything in this universe where Gaston Chevalier is is he comes, uh, <laughs> yeah I'm him no one um, finds like Gaston. No, one. no. And so you 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 tell her like, look, lady, it is what it is. We're gonna have to go. And so she lets you pass. <laughs> you go exit through the door at the top of the chamber. You go up a small hallway, and you're faced with another door. Before you take that door, you all decide to take a few minutes. Doctor Ford whipping up some some health potions again through that through that kit. You all kind of recover your HPs and things. And now you stand basically at a door. Um, ahead of you is a door. It looks like some of the other more normal doors. It's just a, 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 like a general bronze door. It doesn't show any particular signs of rusting. You see a little bit because there's a lot of moisture in the air in general. You just left the room full of water. The hallway leading out of that room had water in it. But ahead of you is a pretty unfancy door. Unfancy. Unfancy. Not fancy. Are, are we going a little uphill now? This way. No, I just mean vertically. Oh yeah, you're vertically. like from from the room where you met the slug. Yeah. You've you've since gone up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Elevation and you, is and there were like five or six stairs to get. Just a, we went a little bit up. Yeah. So yeah. basically, um, you went a few stairs up. Right there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right at the hallway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Arabella is just really tired of being so fucking damp, <laughs> and she just wants some dry land. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm very sorry very, for very your. Air. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your fatigue, but she doesn't mind being in gross natural spots. But this was a lot of wetness. Yeah, I think for Aries, the big concern is the quality of air. He's used to mountain. Fresh air, very like clean and easy to breathe, and this is just. So the polar opposite. Dr. Jones, with you know the smoking problem, is like eh, one poison or another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, I'm just gonna look at this door for the rest of eternity. Uh, You're okay. taking well, damage I'm, by I'm the not minute. I'm going first as <laughs> usual, so someone decide how to open it. Oh, I'm gonna start opening the door. Oh, okay. Um, Man, I'm what should you? Are we trying to? Check the traps. Huh. Why? Traps. Yeah, come on. Doctor Jones's shoulder as he reaches for. There's a handle, I assume. Yeah. And it's got, and check for traps, please. Uh, 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 yes, yes, that makes sense. 
Uh, roll a check trap, trappy trap. What do you want me to the roll? Technical, the technical term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hello. A saving check, check, trappy check. Do you want me to roll? That's good. Oh, are you looking or touching? Oh, I'm touching. Investigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's first see. First roll. roll. Oh, uh. Uh, you went up from the two and three. Plus what? Four plus five, so a nine. Okay. Nine. Okay. You're just gonna keep climbing. The dice said <laughs> nine. 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 <laughs> no. Um. Nope. You look around the doors. Uh, give a little sniff test. You're feeling. You're using your light spell to try to cast and see if you see any weird shadows or anything. Um, you don't see or perceive that there is any booby trap on this door. Okay. Can I visually look around? I want to look around the door. Are there any scrapes on the walls? Are there any... Yeah. Any stone that weirdly sticking out? No. Okay. No, no weird sticking out stones, no traps, no so nothing. Uh, looks like a normal door. It almost looks like a back door. Oh, interesting. Yep, I'm gonna turn uh, door handle, knob, Is lever, knob? whatever. <laughs> Almond shaped. Beep. It clicks. Okay. It pulls in, so all of you have to take a step back, shuffling backwards <laughs> yep. to let it in. Awkwardly. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, clank, clank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Octavia having to like almost step step back, falling a step back off. Um, you open the door, nothing nothing triggers, nothing happens. You all kind of walk in to this space, which is uh, one, two, three, four. And this is, the, this is the width of the space. And the hallway proceeds this way. Actually, I'll just do it like this. Uh, hang on a second. I don't want to take so much time doing this. We'll see. I'm gonna try and reprint yours, but I'm gonna forcefully make you taller. Cause okay. You should, you know, be yeah. much taller than. Yeah. Why are you yeah. the tallest? He should. He's quite tall. Oh. It's based on the size of our ego. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Blamo. Oh, uh, we were talking yes. about how uh, <laughs> Doctor yes, Jones tallest, is I. taller than yeah. Gulliver, <laughs> which doesn't make sense lore wise. Should be after that. Yeah. yeah. Are you so tall? You see I this just, ahead of you. I just use the files. Okay. <laughs> this is what you see. Uh, now I will tell you what you see. The hallway is 20 feet wide and has piles of rubble and debris scattered along its length. The walls are covered with frescoes. The south wall displays scenes of a battle between what look like smaller mortals of some kind and mighty figures that look like they might be some sort of deity. The, wall, no, the north wall depicts people questing for new land, their experiences during the journey, including crossing treacherous mountains, sailing over stormy seas, receiving guidance from the gods in their battles to keep their homeland. Uh, double bronze doors stand in the eastern end of the south wall. Is that accurate? Is that right? Yeah, I don't know why that feels No time wrong. like the present. <coughs> This looks like a whole trap. This whole place is a trap. Yeah, but, I mean, but we must press on. Uh, Dr. Jones is going to slowly enter and move his way towards the uh, <laughs> fresco depicting uh, the battle. Take a closer look. Okay. Without touch. <laughs> we all go into. Gulliver is going to do the same, taking notes. Hang on one second. <laughs> are there are there any rocks or, or rubble within this like within reach from the door? The door that you just walked through? There's basically a pile of rubble here. Right right next to the door, basically. So the door is the door these are the doors you Got just it. walked through? Got it. There's yeah. rubble here. Got it. Okay. Uh, Shorty walks up to the rubble. Now what? Huh? Okay. You are at the rubble. <laughs> uh, he's going to, well, first investigate the rubble. Oh, <laughs> thank you for reminding me. The sword, did you pick up the sword again when you passed it? 
So here's the thing. I was definitely holding on to it for dear life, but we got smothered with water. Correct. So if I was allowed to still be able to physically carry that sword, who would have? The only thing is, I thought you, you would have been like, well, he lost that damn sword. So, I mean, you got hit in a tunnel. There was a, a sealed door at the top. So there, yeah. the, the, the sword is like, like even if it like got washed out of your hands, yeah. it would say, like, shh. And then just be there. <laughs> like yeah. you can go get it if you want. I mean, he still got it. But, okay. Yeah, okay. he would have. He would have been holding on to it. Yeah. So all of you have to like. Maybe I'll make you make some dexterity checks to avoid getting hit in the head with it <laughs> as it turns around suddenly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's that over there? Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> No, yeah, it's on so the this, left side. What? The, the, the sword is now Barb's tail from Spaceballs. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Just like yeah. hitting people. Um, oh, classic. Uh, so I want to investigate the rubble. It is rubble. The briz. What are you rub What are you rubbling okay, for? Okay, well first I wanted to. He's channeling. I, I want to grab the rubble. I, I just didn't know if sword. it was a good thing to grab or a bad thing to grab the rubble. So I'm gonna grab a piece of the rubble, and Shorty's going to just lob it. Across. Oh, okay, okay. Across the uh, uh, the thing. Across Preferably the trying to make it bounce a little bit across multiple parts of the floor. Okay. Okay. Uh, I love you're that. Doing. That's really yeah. great. Um, just to re just to like explain a little bit of this hallway once again. So you've you've entered this hallway. You see about halfway down the hallway. Um, all throughout the hallway, there are little pictures. There are little paintings and scenes of things. Uh, moments kind not too dissimilar from the little moments that you saw when you first landed with the little statues and figurines but where those figurines were showing daily life farming hunting harvesting these scenes are showing moments of battle uh, and it looks like uh, the battle is mostly between the gods and some of them show like people helping hiding running dying as this battle between the gods is happening toward the middle there is a, a a specific kind of large mural piece and it is um a picture of like a sun and there's um it's more celestial in nature um but that's basically what you see does that make sense is okay. that around us or it's like in front toward of the, down yeah. this way yeah. Yeah. Okay. so just for reference once again um this is what you see yeah, yeah. You can't see the end of the hallway from here. Mm -hmm. What you see are like the frescoes on the walls. The, the painting is somewhere over here, and you're just a barely able to make it out with the light spells. Sword wants to approach the painting. Okay. She wants to see if she can depict or, de or decipher the celestial characters, mm -hmm. especially in that battle. Scene. Um, like are these specific gods that she recognizes mm -hmm. and, and maybe can she even recognize like particular type of followers or particular civilization so as you yeah. approach the painting the area go you're gonna see this is what you see the tunnel continues further okay. you are now approaching where this painting is okay. um, we're gonna backtrack one second because I know you had said you wanted to check the painting as well yeah the one okay. specifically the moral one the war one? Yeah, where the gods are fighting. Okay. I think what are we're you looking, looking at the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, to see if I could identify, similar, to see if we can identify the gods in particular. Okay. Um, Me too. Okay. So, what we'll do here is, we'll say all of you are like looking, pouring over it and murmuring to each other. Um, because you were the first to mention, I'll ask you to roll. I'm going to give you advantage from Dr. Ford, and I'll lower the DC because Gulliver is also helping. So, history? Yes. It's like we're all in an art gallery, yeah, whispering I was about a hand. Exactly. So, like, have I been this leaning in a temple? Nice. Yeah, this is a lot of ready, like, help. The so. brush strokes are very messy yeah. here. So, 16. Yeah, iconography reminds me. Amazing. Oh. Um, is there 25? 21. 21. Okay. Oh, crack it That's still great. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've heard of the shattering in books and texts, you've seen old things, um, and now for the first time you're realizing you're looking at what might be the first ever like, like recorded documentation of the shattering by, by like original peoples. You, as you look closely, you can see lands 
uh, shattered and broken, stretching out far into the distance, into the horizon. You see what look like storms uh, clattering. Uh, and as you start looking at it, you, re you, you can see these, these deities in this painting don't look or, or resemble the deities that you guys know of today and the way that they're portrayed. But you can see archaic or ancient um, references that kind of start to give you inferences as you're looking and you're like, this kind of looks like that and that kind of looks like this and you realize that this is the shattering. These are your gods, but an ancient version of them. And they're fighting amongst each other and their fight is destroying the land. And you see, as you're looking over, you see that there's, um, uh, amongst the fighting, you see that there's like, there's carnage happening below. But in, a, a, in an area obsc almost obscured in darkness, almost, it looks like blended into the background, you see there is a group of, of individuals huddled around a fire in what looks like a cave, kind of obscured, hidden in a corner away from the battle. Mm. Okay. What do these people that are around that fire look like? They don't have distinct features. Are they um, hooded? They're, they're basically, they're weapons? sitting they're like, sitting kind of like around a fire. And so what you're seeing is kind of like the silhouette of them, the contrast of the human shape against the bright fire, the dark shape. Yeah. Uh, again, the, you can't see faces or anything distinct. Does it, do, okay. Does, does it look like somebody who more like a feminine, like features with like kids and stuff, or does no. it look like somebody's like traveling, and traveling? In you don't see book bags. You don't see families. You don't. You don't see just tribes. You just see uh, maybe five or six people sitting in a circle in very small, what looks like an enclosed environment around a fire, in a huddle, kind of all facing each other. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what this might be. <clears throat> this is at the foot of the battle? The battle is happening here. And then on the outside, you know, like when you think of a, a classical painting, there's like the trees and the, and the yeah. kind of contextual stuff. In a corner, you see kind of blended into the background, not really almost meant to be missed. Very well camouflaged in. You're able to see like this thing. It looks like a secret. Right. Yeah. Secret gathering. Is there anything? A detail. Aries ever heard of from the shattering being like there, there was like a secret group or anything? No. What you know, uh, what you know from the shattering um, is that following the shattering, people started kind of banding together in different parts of the world, um, and then eventually trade started happening amongst those, and then certain cities were sacked, certain cities fell to ruin, etc. Um, what you also see as you're looking over this is you see um, that there are certain parts of this painting that look slightly elevated. Ooh. Elevated out, like, like just raised? Ra yeah, right. Just like very slightly raised. Because it has like an edge to it, like some sort of shape. Does it look like a door? Does it look like a window? Does so it this like painting itself is, is in a, like, the wall is like inset, so it's like the hallway continues. And then there's like, basically like this. Like, the wall comes this way, in, down, this way a little bit, and then continues. But the reverse. So if you guys are looking at it, this is, like you guys are here, looking at it this way. I see. So it's indented. Yes. And is it a shape of a painting, or it's it part of a painting indented? No, the painting is on, it takes up the entire portion of the indented wall. Yeah, okay. okay. Floor to ceiling, wall to wall, but it doesn't come out of the indent or anything. Is it okay, indented it. down to the floor? No. No, just into the wall, okay. Yeah. Mm. I want to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to touch yeah. everything there. <laughs> Arabella her, her is like kind of emotional looking at this artwork. Like she studied the shattering. And she kind of utters, it seems like we're at, it's almost like it's happening again. What, is that what we're here to stop? So that uh, Dr. Jones kind of scratches himself. What if it's not happening again, it just never stopped? 
fascinating. I, I love and hate how fascinating that is. Gulliver is frantically scribbling. <laughs> um, I would like to break from the group and look around the hallway. I'll even walk a little further, potentially. I want to look for plant life. One, because I love plants, and two, because I kind of want to make good on our promise to the snail god. Oh. Mm. <laughs> if there's anything. There's no plants down the hallway, but you do. So a couple of other notes that I, um, I've, one other note I forgot to mention is that in this hallway, there is no moisture. It's, it's much drier here, but the, 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 the poisonous air um, is, is more dense here. So it's, 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 you're like, you're in properly obscured environment. So even with the light, it's kind of, it's like the, the light is almost suffocated a little bit by the mm. dense kind of texture of the air. As you're looking around, because you now have a light spell on your person as well, I believe, yeah. um, you do see that there is another painting toward, um, not a painting, sorry. I also have dark vision if that shows me anything. Mm -hmm. um, because of the two light spells, everything is pretty well lit. Okay. Um, but you do see at the other end, it looks like the hallway just keeps going. Yeah, she, she won't separate from the group. I think the furthest she would walk from the group would be like 20 feet tops. Like she, she can stay pretty close. Okay, at 20 feet... Aries trying not to leave anyone kind of like by themselves. So if he sees only you separating, it's just kind of like follow a little bit behind. I can no longer show you the map, but it looks like the, the tunnel just keeps going. Do we want to should we, should we keep going? Do you want to look further at that? We'll, we'll keep Oh, I still wanted to touch the paint. Yeah. Oh. Oliver is going to start very gingerly touching the painting to see if there's any kind of like mechanism associated with the fact that it's indented. Secret button. Secret yep, button. looking for secret buttons. Secret door. While, while he's doing that, Dr. Jones is now, he's gone from the point of like standing but in front of the painting to the point where he's all the way kind of kneeling just in front of that little mm -hmm. thing with the people around the fire. Yeah. You Hitting just see side. him just like mulling over it. And then he just says it out loud, not to anyone in particular. Witnesses? Separated? Cause? All three? Hmm. As you start like feeling around, you try gently to push and you do feel like are you pushing that center are you going to push at the edges like how do you interact with these i mean i are you just going to like or are you trying to see if it moves no i'm trying to like gingerly touch the different areas mm -hmm. trying not to damage it but to see if any portion moves or has a mechanism to it Roll me a sleight of hand to see how gingerly you do this. <laughs> okay. First roll. No, he made the first roll. Uh, oh, yeah, right. nine. Okay. okay. Right. Second roll. Uh, as you're trying to Keep be ginger and be, be gingerly about this thing, um, you you press on the button just a little bit. You feel the tile shifts as if it's slightly loose in the space. You know, like when you hit a button and you can feel like the sides of it are kind of loose um, and it, a little bit of paint chips off. No. <laughs> Damn, Damn it. it. <gasps> <laughs> no, there's a reason. There's some kind of button mechanism here. Where? Where I just, you know, def desecrated the priceless <laughs> artifact. What do you think? Just desecrating what? And Arabella will storm back. <laughs> uh, me accidentally. So, what, what portion of the painting door? is the uh, button or desecration on? <laughs> um, <laughs> the tiny little chip of, of painting is um, toward the center, a little off. It's like basically around the cluster of people who are like trying to shelter in place. And, and that kind of like that tree area is like, like basically invisible. Except for the 23 
investigation mm -hmm. um, so you're able to see it and the tiny little like a little portion of a tree branch can came yeah. off anything behind where it's where the painting chipped off what it looks like that huddle spot it just like to look at it it looks like it's all one painting but when you get really really close you can see that it's just this portion of this tree area is just slightly elevated up out of the wall it's well, like it's like, like the edge of like touching a phone yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. It's like very subtle. <laughs> I'm like thinking either to press it or to kind of like use some of my um, leather making tools, which there is like some sort of metal, like sharp metal tools, and then lift it off. Try it up. I want to try that. Okay. I want to kind of like pick it instead of pressing it. I want to like lift it off. Okay. Whatever that is, if it's fossil, I don't know. Uh, what am I making? Slide of hand? Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. What's my stats? Oh, okay. My base. Seven. <laughs> ah. Um, <laughs> why? Why did you change? This is still my dice. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. Um, Gulliver, you, 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 Doctor Ford, Doctor Jones. You hear some rustling. You turn around, and you see, uh, you see Ares walking forward with two sharp little things. You're both waiting with bated breath, like, what is going to happen here, uh, Ares? What do you do with this? How do you how do you try to do it? So and, and how do you I'm how do you fuck it up further? Like, two, like sharp, kind of like metal uh, pieces, so like you know, like, like the thing that you try to like poke the hole with. Yeah, like, like an awl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So some, what is it called? Awl. A W L. Yeah. Oh. It's basically like a sharp, stabby thing with a round ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so he's trying to like have like two tools similar to that to try to kind of like lift it off mm -hmm. like at least on one mm -hmm. side well, and how do you fuck it up I'll, I'm like it doesn't, it up? Yeah, yeah. well on a seven you try to move it it doesn't move if forward or pop off layer I probably chip more of it off yeah <laughs> yeah you chip off another piece of the, of the painting I mean, at this point, we can just hit it with your axe. Uh, <laughs> come on. Hey, all right. <laughs> we Some can of make it, it a door. Yeah. Aries kind of like chipped off, kind of just looked at everyone. And like, can we just... <laughs> just? I think we just pressed the... It kind of looks like it might be a button. <laughs> well, then he presses it. <laughs> when you, the put the tools away <laughs> and just like... Ready? And then presses it. Okay. Arabella will hold up her shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we everyone ready? We've <laughs> done this before. And then you push, you push it in, you hear uh, nothing at first, and then you hear oh, what sounds like stone grinding on stone, and you are wa you're, you're kind of close, right? You're still very close? Oh yeah, I'm like facing Yeah, <laughs> you're basically, you're looking at it, you're looking at the button, all of a sudden the button starts moving down, okay, as the whole piece of wall slowly yes. starts Take Take <laughs> shifting down into the floor. I should have just fucking pressed it. <laughs> All right. After after a solid like three minutes of just the sounds and the deep rumbling of stone grinding on stone, the door finally fully depresses and is flush with the ground. A ho a beho before you. Well, since I'm in the front of it, what do I see? No way. Yeah, sixty yeah. feet into it. What yeah, I'm that's what I'm about to get to there. Oh, okay. Um, before you lies another hallway, this one slightly tighter than the one that you were just in. The light cast by Jones and Ford reveals um, the walls to be painted very, very dark. But you see the light is, is reflecting off of, um, off of like sh shiny material. It looks, it looks from where you're standing almost like inlay silver into the walls. And what you see is from from even from where you're standing, just being able to look forward, this hallway seems to be painted like a night sky, and you can see the silver lines uh, join at at slight like almost like crystals that are that are like um, inlaid into the stone 
making different shapes as they go along and this kind of goes down past you and down the hallway uh, occasionally every so often you see on the walls what look like from where you're standing without walking in uh, you see what looks like the, the profile of something that looks like a mask and there are set there are several of these hanging up the wall every so often going down the hallway can we see what, like what, what is the mask like represented like, I mean, just from, like, from where you are it's just masks you know, all you can tell is that they're like you can see basically the light and the darkness are telling you that it looks kind of like a mask like full full face mask, Phantom of the Opera, Zorro. What are we talking? Scrub, <laughs> uh, when you all tell me that you want to like walk into the room, we can add more detail. I'm just okay. giving you like, this is what you see. Well, you're all standing on the precipice of oh, yeah, this, no, I'm, this I'm, hallway. I'm gingerly walking in. Just yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait as they walk in i'm listening to our current in case opening this door like opened another door or got something's attention so i'm i'm stepping back and listening to our current hallway okay just kind of looking around like did we we good did we just set off an alarm like no alarms okay um no wall trying to crash us nothing. no wall trying to crush you um nothing dangerous that you can tell is the air the same by the way the air is still poisonous but less it's thinner here thinner, thinner. behind this threshold kind yes of? he's excited about that air is really excited about that like he's e really eager to walk in for sure so yeah um, i want to come get a closer look at the masks and okay whatever. okay same with gulliver okay um you can keep checking for traps. I would like a group check. Let me just let me double talk, check something. Um I have to figure that out. Another Dice day. Guardians. Let me play with this. Can I try it? <laughs> Do they help? Because of fucking help. <laughs> <laughs> they better bless this dice. They're very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Give me know. some group history check, please. Group history check. Group history. Group history uh, check, please. Love a group history check. Is it because my yes, Miss Frizzle? Ugh. Where did my skills? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Skills. Stop. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Twenty. Ten. Ten. That's good. What? As you start walking down this hallway, each of you kind of taking a moment to look at these masks as you pass them, you realize each one of these masks resembles in style and in sculpture one of the different civilizations that was established post-shattering. You mm. see one mask with uh, that has a, a regal that is regally adorned with intricate patterns, gemstones, um, and you see um, uh, ancient uh, symbols uh, um, in Alamin that 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 resemble unity and prosperity. And uh, Doctor Jones, um, your mind thinks of um, uh, Ithoria and the early Ithoria and the kind of prosperous region that eventually became Skoda. Um, you see a mask. Um, I'm just going to pick at random, but you can decide who among you sees what. But um, Gulliver, as you're looking, um, one mask calls to you because it is rich with arcane symbols and slightly going ruins. And it reminds you of the dominion of Arcana, of Arcania, uh, and the ancient um, civilization of mages that developed post shattering. Um, Ares you see a mask a little further down the hall um it the gold the gold details on it reflecting the light from the light spells you see that it is embellished with exotic patterns and motifs um a, a, a clearly a mask designed to reflect wealth and opulence it reminds you a little bit of the azurian empire 
uh, some of the other little in things r reminding look similar to some of the scrolls that you'd mm -hmm. seen um, about some of these things. Um, Shorty, yeah. uh, as you're looking around, you see one that looks a little smaller and you're like, what's that one? And you walk over and you see this one looks sturdy. It looks to be carved of stone. And on it, you can see some dwarvish ruins depicted on it. Um, and it reminds you a little bit of the of the, the ancient dwarven kingdom of Ironhold. And as you're looking around, kind of making your way slowly up and down the hallway, looking at all these, you realize that these masks all resembled one of one mask for each of the different ancient civilizations that blossomed post shattering. Shorty's gonna wanna touch the mask. <laughs> not taking it? Just not not just yet. He wants to touch it. <laughs> okay. Kind of like, oh, yeah, or like so. this. <laughs> okay. It looks sturdy. So she reaches out and touches uh, the little mask. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anything? How tall are you? Um, I don't remember. I'm gonna burn your eyebrow. I feel like Let me find Wait, out. Are you a Four feet. Right? I'm a you're half You're a half foot nothing. I feel like you're four <laughs> foot something. No, I think they're something like that. It could be short. Sure. Happens aren't as short as nose. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah I didn't write it down. They're uh, like between like three okay. and yeah. four. I Four's guess four and five. almost five foot. Is that sound right? Half no, like four. Um, four. Yeah, yeah, the four. doors are five. Okay. Four. We had uh, new cards for everything. everything. Yeah. All right, you're in this hallway. Uh, as you're walking, you also see that the, sil the inlaid silver lines, um, they meet at certain bright spots. And they kind of weave all the way down the hallway and they interact with the masks at different points kind of like yeah. dipping and then popping away um, and as you are starting to look with with the 21 and a 20 um, and then the 10 and everybody passed flying colors um, you realize that these are constellations yeah mm. but the constellations look slightly different and it looks like there's like the, the, the skyline is made almost to look like different archaic symbols representing each of the gods written in the skies. Does this tunnel feel newer than the prior tunnel? It feels hidden, more hidden. But like carved at the same time. Does it look there's like a, it's kind of having a direction? Should we like... So as you walk through the hall, there are a few different tunnels that come off. There's, uh, there's one roughly 35 feet. Actually, can I just show you? Let me see if I can show you. So, so depicting the actual shattering and then post-shattering. And then post-shattering. Yeah, and this looks right like Right next to each other. Mm. You need to be after the shattering to depict it, right? So. Exactly. Yeah. Arabella just says, "When was, when would all of this have been done?" I, I wonder, and this could be ridiculous, but the group around the fire in the first painting. You see perhaps? something that looks a little bit like this. So there's a hallway that goes up this way, and there's something that goes down this way. That perhaps they were oracles who, who could foresee the war, what would follow, and perhaps influenced its happening. Or it's the group that saw what was happening and the potential in building the civilization of their interest in this. The, um, the founders of them. That's very it's possible. been uh, a good long time since shattering and in between when these first civilizations emerged and today. So I'd say either explanation is plausible. That would make them long-lived races. 
Would it necessarily? I mean, it could just be a generation, a couple generations after shattering. Make me a sleight of hand check. Who heard or had some record of what had happened, decided to make a temple about it, put up some masks, call it a day. Twelve. Mm. Whoever chose to do it, I think, determines what we find down here. As you are kind of in the cluster, having a conversation, looking over these masks, um, you hear, uh, you hear, shit, and then you hear, uh, and Stop you look over as Shorty was like looking at a mask, and he like reached up to grab it, but because he's a little bit shorter, he kind of like almost knocked it off its hold, and so in an attempt to catch the mask, he dropped the sword, which made a loud clanging sound <laughs> that reverberated <laughs> through the thing. Uh, and you all look in horror as he like fumbles for a few seconds and then he manages to catch the mask oh, without letting it take damage. And he's now holding the mask. He's <laughs> holding the mask and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shorty. <laughs> any, any, any sounds as a result of that? You know, from yeah, like Aries, down, Aries, the Aries down the tunnel. Down the tunnel. Okay. Is there anything that starts falling out? Yep. No, no drums like in the deep. Growling, perhaps. No, no. Uh, so someone talking in a language the, we the don't understand. The lines that you were talking about, the constellation, is there um, a certain like concentration of them in a certain direction that would be kind of like. Because that would be something that I would be more interested in, like going towards rather than other tunnels. Is there any sort of tunnel that kind of screams, like, go look at me? <laughs> um, the majority of the of the celestial painting is concentrated in this hallway. Yeah. Um, but you do see at the end of the tunnel, um, you see that it, it looks like the celestial paintings kind of come to an end or potentially turn down. You can't really tell from without walking down the hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do see that toward the end there is like a large armored figure kind of uh, like a like a large kind of suit of armor looking thing kind of standing with a sword and a shield toward the end of the hallway at in front of the paintings yeah, uh, and several of the lines kind of converge on that i would kind of like grab everyone's attention and point at the figure standing there now that looks like a trap <laughs> dr jones kind of turns yes and walks over to Shorty, and he's like, did you break it? The mask or the sword? <laughs> he just breathes. And he turns to the pedestal or area where the mask was to now investigate to see if there was any hit, anything hidden behind yeah. the mask. Mm -hmm. Should I roll? Mm -hmm. No. Um, I just thought it wasn't like a jet of fire. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Face. Oh, yeah. just like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. eyebrows gone. Or immediate, you know, darts from the walls or whatever. Uh, just give me Big two boulder. seconds. Mm -hmm. Tank of piranhas. Yeah, we haven't gone from a boulder yet. I'm waiting for that. We're random boulders just of uh, I did that to my last party. <laughs> we sent a boulder out. Oh no. But it was a bull. It was a Classic rock uh, golem. Oh, oh damn. damn. So they thought he was gonna run into them, and then he woke up. Oh shit. And he was like, what are you doing here? And they're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> out for a light jog. <laughs> <laughs> he turned it out, out to be moderately friendly. Okay. So they made a friend. Moderately. Yeah. Just a little bit. And he wasn't happy they were there. Wrong. <laughs> he didn't come. A... They rolled. You see that there are some, there's what look like some like small little runes on the back. Mm. Um... I would like you to roll a something for me. Um, I've got it. Not a. Um, I'm just spitting skills at you. <laughs> thanks. Let <laughs> <laughs> I me mean, like see which one sticks. <laughs> Rock. Sorry. Just roll a, a flat intelligence check for me. Cool. <laughs> oh god. Natural one. One. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so excited. So, these rune, the runes behind this mask 
don't look like Alamen. They don't look like any religion, or I'm sorry, they don't look like any uh, language that you are familiar with. They don't look like primordial or anything. They hardly even look like a language at all. It lo almost looks like a seal. Hmm. See Jones is leaning into there? Or um, <laughs> maybe a, like a seal or like a, a crest almost. He leans and goes. <laughs> Turns to Octavia. You should draw this. I have no idea what it is. It starts walking away. Okay, in the spirit of intellectual competitiveness, Arabella, Arabella wants to look and be like, I know what it is. <laughs> okay. She's, she's okay, okay, okay. Eris just Slightly like looking at both doctors. This, just but like, yeah, this is so cool. The, what was the uh, just intelligence? Yeah, straight, straight intelligence. Eris uh, uh, like, is getting she's cute, about, more curious. Uh, it's a 50. And okay. he wants to look at the mask that he was looking at, in, in, like underneath, uh, behind it, after. Um, on at 15, you look at it for a second, um, and you realize that it is, it is a kind of, uh, it is a kind of, uh, um, It's almost like a signature. It's a ruin that looks like a signature, like a, um, like something like that. Like a mark. Like yes. a wax seal. Like a, like like a wax a, seal. Like a, oh. Yeah. Almost like the artist who made the mask, or maybe what the mask what's, represents. What's the Wait. word? Oh, oh it is crest. That's what the crest. Yeah, something like a crest. Oh. Um, Okay. But I don't recognize it at all. Just, just upon looking on this one, on this one, ruin-looking thing, yeah. you get a feeling it's like either some sort of a crest, some sort of uh, a thing, or possibly with a fifteen, um, a, a seal of some kind, or like a statement. What's it? Like is it paint, or is it a different material? Or it's carved into the stone that was behind. It's no recognizable language. It does not look like a language that, that it's like a recognizable She's language. She's going to touch it. She's going to reach up and, and touch the symbols. Just kind of trace it. It feels fingers. smooth to the touch. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't done in haste and it wasn't done crudely. And it's not magical. No. Like it doesn't do anything. No. How many masks are there in total again? Five, six. This is a good question. I Wait, what did you ask? I couldn't hear. How many masks in total are there again? Seven. Is it six? Seven. Seven. How many people were seated around the fire? <laughs> Seven. I was about to. Ask. Yeah. I, think. I was about to ask. Did we see? Did we see any like little signatures underneath the, the painting or anything? Or you just sort of stand? So I'm if gonna... you're saying this is a signature, there are seven of these. And there were seven people around that little fire in the in the background of. And paint. each mask represents the civilization that was formed. These could be the founders yep. of these civilizations. Masks either left by them, maybe worn by them. I don't know. Is this a moment? Created by them. Maybe it's the room that they manipulating to whatever they hid in here. Is it the tomb? It's a shame there's only six of us. Maybe oh, imagine another. touching all of them at the same time. <laughs> the well, I was, maybe we could wear them or something. Ah, I, oh, I see. <laughs> be fun. We make sleight of hands. Oh sure, my. let's do. Let's yeah. Do Does that oh, include me too? I hope the guardian. You did already. That's why I asked you. No man. It's called delicious. You rolled your one d twenty, and now delicious and delicious. that's why I don't. That's what you get for asking me to have. Yeah, because you asked me to have a happy face when I give things. It's about killing monsters and using them as recipes. Monster recipes. Was it history? Yeah, you got there. Oh, slide of hand. That is literally what is it about? Seven. That's that cool. Is that what I think it is? Yep. She said she oh, finished no. it and she what? sat because oh, there's no, no more. Oh, no. Did you guys roll as well? Uh, Side uh, of hand checks? Uh, uh, I'm going to ask you to do that. 
Seven. I, I already have it in my head. Seven, seven. Seven. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? It's like, I hope we roll good when it matters. She's very careful with artifacts. Uh, 13. Oh, no, wait, wait, 13. wait. Okay. Can, can I go for it? You are, you are in this space. There is a, there's like a, uh, like a sacred kind of energy here. Uh, I imagine um, you're, as you're talking, you're all like, without meaning to, talking in library volumes, kind of like almost whispering. There's no one around to hear, but uh, you're, as you're talking about things, um, you hear the, the loud clanging noise, and you all look at Shorty almost in reproach as he's like loudly dropped his sword to try to catch this thing. He fumbles but catches it at the last minute. You all kind of look around, you see this ruined thing. You all decide that you want to see if the same thing is behind all these other ones. So you each approach various masks. Which match do you approach, Dr. Jones? Uh, the, the one I was looking at before that represents my old city. Uh, uh, so uh, the Skoda, mm -hmm. previous Skoda, okay. Um, Dr. Ford, which mask do you approach? Same idea um, that it was. I remember there was a city near where I was from. Gulliver, which one do you approach? City of Arcana, or the civilization of Arcana, that is similar to what I'm interested in. I forgot the name of mine too. <laughs> um, I want to say it was Aries. Which was which man? The gold yeah, thing I was looking at. This is a handout. Oh, sorry, I forgot the name. Um, I wish I had like a bigger screen so I can open. Oh, I think it was I Ishar. Ishar? Where was the backstory, right? Azuron is uh, for... Just so I can know what ha which ones you all touched. Um, so there's... Um, so there was Ithoria, which later became Skoda. There is a mask for... Arcania. There is a mask for Azurion. Which is the Aelid of Ares. Yep. Um, there is the Iron Hold, which is uh, the one that uh, Shorty grabbed. The remaining masks are the Empire of Keshra, which is um, a mask adorned with intricate desert patterns, symbols of a sun and sand reflecting the Empire of the Desert. Um, Thrasia, which is a, a mask shaped with a, a, a kind of a dimpled a, like kind of a dimpled appearance to it uh, and what look like little icicles and, and snowflakes adorning the outside. Uh, and the last one is Uth, um, Uthar, which is um, uh, paintings on this mask and little carvings look like mountains, carving valleys, representing um, similar, uh, similar to the rest of this is kind of like that um, hermetic lifestyle type of thing. I think that's uh, the one. Okay. Uthar, okay. Okay. Yeah, we all gonna die. It was good. Okay. Was you all decide that you're each going to kind of walk up to one of these masks and grab them all at the same time. You all decide you're gonna do a one, two, three. But some of you don't know if that's on three or three and then. <laughs> Yeah. So one, two, Lock three. Papers, Gulliver on three pulls his off, and with a moment of hesitation, um, Ford kind of looking at Gulliver like, "Oh, okay, we're doing it on three. Okay, pulls it off. Um, doesn't pull it off completely. It gets caught a little bit on the on the hook as as you're pulling it off, uh, and so it like kind of almost stumbles, but you manage to grab it just before it hits the ground. Ford. Jones. Uh, Jones. Jones. So, Jones is still annoyed that he didn't know what the symbol was. How could I not know? And then he's like, what, three? And he, you know, kind of like turning, wasn't it? And then it's one of those like, <laughs> and you see him completely fall as he's trying, and then it just shatters above his head, like, oh. He is now on the floor with the mask shattered above his head. As this mask shatters, a light pulses 
over the ceiling through all of the little inlaid silvers you see it you see this like kind of um run through like a almost like a flood of light uh beaming for a moment from each of the little spotlights and then it floods back to the room all of the sigils hear anything but those of you who follow the lights as they it, almost like an ocean wave beam from one end back to the other follow the lights back to the stone to that statue the armor at the end of the hallway and you see the armor starts to starts very subtly to glow uh, Gulliver puts the mask into his bag that does not... Y'all are some thieving ass, trifling ass, we fucking... Aries is trying to, to see them. if there's any attachment so he can wear it like on the side. <laughs> there's no attachment. The inside is mostly flush. It he doesn't look like it's carved it. out. It's flesh? <laughs> flush, like, it's flush. not, it's flush, yeah. Um, Wait, put the masks in this bag. I'll hold them safe. We'll figure out what the fuck they are later. Okay. Guys, guys. Are we the bad guys? No, are we oh, the bad guys? Lord. There's other guys coming after us, we'll take it. Right? Saving these from the bad guys. But is that what they would say? Probably, yeah. Aries, Aries also collects the shattered pieces and puts it in the bag too. And, and <laughs> walk over to Dr. Jones on the ground, but are you alright? Like, not in a really nice way. <laughs> in this little he's annoying He's staring thing. at the rubble, he's like, no. <laughs> and she won't even help you out, she just walked over. Uh, but, but she is going to get close to the armor cautiously and try to judge, like, what's going on there? Is it, is something, is it activating? Is it just kind of being illuminated? Like, what is this glowing activity? What is it, what's, what do my instincts tell me it means? To rewind just a step... As each of you pull the mask off, you do see something etched into the stone. And you see whatever, whatever, like, wall you're looking at, whatever mask you removed, your sigil looks different than the one that you all saw and looked at at Shorty. As you start approaching the, the, this kind of suit of armor at the other end of the hall, you see another wave of light pulse out and return, and the light in this armor glows further. After each of us took the mask, it started like it was a wave after wave, but only when it shattered. It was. It's hard to tell okay. if it's one or the other because so everything like happened at the same, at the same time. Okay. It was literally within moments. Yeah. It was like. Psh. It could have been anything. Gulliver is gonna try to put the mask back where it was and see if it has any effect. The light continues to pulse. Yeah, and he's putting it back in the back. Is it? But is it just? Is it just like? Um, does the light just feel like a decoration? Like I'm, I'm trying to sort of figure out. I think it was more it, like activating. Yeah, is this actually dangerous, or is this just? Is this just signifying something? Aries gonna. So there's a lot of symbolism around. This, mm -hmm. you know? It might not be dangerous. It's just Aries wants to like in a sneaky way, try to get closer to the armor to see what it is doing. So, let's say... At the moment if it's like wavy or surprising, I'm like, mm, no. So Ford, you're kind of just standing right in front of it looking right. I'd say she's pretty close to just fine. Yeah, she's probably like five feet. It's just a five. They also don't need to Is it just humanoid? Like the suit of armor. It is humanoid in shape. Two arms, two legs. Think like, think like Alphonse. Suit of armor. Okay, yeah. And tall? Huh? Like, tall. Tall. Like I'm seven feet tall. So is it like roll up if you're feet? touching it? I'm not touching it. Though. Roll perception. Now, Aries, you said you wanted to try to sneakily look at it. Yeah. I drew this because I wanted to you to see that like Ford is standing directly in front of it looking oh, at it already. Oh, I didn't know. I thought we all kind of somewhere there. No, no, 
no. You all like up and down there, except oh, yeah. Ford. Okay. Where are you, Ford? You're down here somewhere, uh, sitting uh, on the floor. 16. Well, so, I think it's all of it is happening at the same time, so I was kind of like collecting the pieces of the shattered yeah. one. So, so then I guess I was busy doing you that. You are back here then with Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jones, I just Jones. couldn't tell where we were. Jones. Then I guess I'm busy. Thank helping. you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that was a uh, 60. As you're looking at this closely, you see another pulse of light come back, and the light from within glows. And now as the light starts to glow within this suit of armor, you see very intricate mechanical things. Like you see like like, like mechanical joints, uh, like cogs and things. You see you see um, distinct evidence that it is it is meant to move and it has fully articulating joints, shoulders, uh, it is intricate. Okay, I'd like to real quick glance down this hallway just to see what I see. Sure. Around the <clears throat> but I'm about to back away from this suit of armor that is meant to move. With your light spell, as you look down the hallway, you see uh, along, along both sides of this corridor, deep in shadows, human figures appear to be floating halfway between the floor and the door. As you approach, meaning like here, like as you like kind of really quickly, yeah, yeah. you see that the figures seemingly suspended in air are actually withered corpses standing upright on a ledge about two feet off the floor. Are there seven of them? There's more. That's worse. There's, but okay. <laughs> there's, there's like, at a quick glance, at a quick glance, you see that there's at least 10, maybe 15 of them. Oh, like, down this hallway. And they're on, like, a ledge. They're on a ledge. But they're floating. They're floating. They looked like they were floating when you first saw them. Okay. When you got a little closer, you saw that they're standing on a ledge two feet up. Okay, okay. That's slightly less horrifying. Um, <laughs> this, she's going to back away, uh, not keeping, not taking her eyes off of the suit of armor. Uh, but, you know, trying to cautiously maybe feel behind her. And she'll say, um... Um, the armor is not an armor, it is a construct. It is a construct, it is meant to move. She, she will just continue to back through the group. <laughs> she is very, to, she doesn't Aries like robots. Aries wants to get closer, she's like, oh, it's moving, I want to see. She it is not, not moving yet. She does no, not trust has, robots. He, you heard it, it's meant to move. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'll like, I'll, I'll like switch forward. places with everybody. <laughs> She's like, get me the fuck away. Does and it look he... like it's charging? Is like the light still Every pulsing? time the light pulses and returns, it Every seems time. like it's so gathering. It it's and over time, this light seems to be pulsing faster and faster. Oh, it's definitely charging. It's getting ready. Are we going to let this thing, you know, wake up? And I like brandish my axe. Like, it doesn't, I mean, we could, you know. Does it seem like it had fucking vocal cords? Like, I took no. Is there a button for it? But there's also standing corpses around the corner. Um, so Dr. Jones is still in the process of standing up. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't really bothered hearing about the big automaton. He's like, mm -hmm. corpses? Yes. <laughs> standing? Standing. On their own? On ledges. And yes, I think on their own. They might be suspended. In some like way. A hook or a rope. Is there weapons uh, attached to the, uh, the the robot thingy? The construct? I yes. Can I take them while he's still charging? <laughs> I want to disarm it. Smart, smart. Yeah. Certainly try. I want to try to disarm the construct while it's still not moving. I, she doesn't mean take off a time. She means take I mean, weapons. <laughs> no, if there's no weapons, then I'm going to take those arms. You're going to take his arms? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to so you can't punch. I don't know. I have some leather making tools. I'm gonna try to like knock it off. <laughs> I, I. Is there weapons? I'm not gonna tell you. You can't. But I'm gonna tell you. It's really gonna be very, very difficult to do this. It's like welded on or whatever. Basically. Okay. <laughs> it's like what? No, it's like is it is it like in the sheath that now like just remove? No, it? like no, it's not holding that. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, that might be. Tough. Okay, then never mind. I thought it's like something maybe like. I appreciate it. I like it. Uh, I like it, but. And you're welcome to try. 
but it's gonna be very difficult. Dude, just like climb it on, just like <laughs> just like put you know both, it, both feet just, and just, just hold it. Just giggles. Let's do it. What is gonna be? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna try. try. <laughs> Parkour. To remove. To remove. Um, Anybody want to help? <laughs> no, I just. Yeah, I'm not. I'd help. Yeah. All right. You're yeah. trying to. You're gonna get near the robot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for the purpose of destroying it. For the purpose of making it less scary. Also, to be fair, you wrote hates, you not hate, fears, not afraid, which oh, is very different. Oh, okay. okay. That oh, is very different. Two, two, two robots, different things. Man. Yeah. We gotta go by the ways of our forefathers and we use magic instead of robots. So, me and Gullah are trying to remove the fucking yeah. whatever he's holding? Just prying it out. Okay. okay. So, you're trying to remove basically welded weapons from from this machine. Yeah. It is taller than you are. Uh -huh. um, I'm trying to like pry the fingers out. Well, same, they're same, like, Yeah, I, well, I guess well, I one of us it. should get the thing. Yeah, yeah. One of so us you're prying the fingers open, I'm pulling it. Yeah. Okay. okay. But not by the blade. This seems no, like no. a very good idea. So as that is happening, Dr. Jones takes out his pistol and goes to Shorty, prepare yourself. This is not probably going to end well. <laughs> Shorty. So roll strength with advantage. Shorty grabs the sword Wait, and gets me? it ready. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, that's right. Yeah. That's a giant sword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Well, my strength is what? Yeah, probably got a... Wait, is it athletic or is strength I, strength? You gotta points? go to abilities to hit the lower grid. Strength. Yeah. Plus three. So three? 20. 30, 20? 30, 20. So, 30, 20. Uh, Gulliver... He's going to fly into a rage. Yes, of course he is. He's so fucking mad that this robot is in the fucking basement. <laughs> Thought there was a magic place, not a robot place. And that gives him advantage on strength checks. Get away from checks. robots. Okay. Um, so this is a this is a skill check on a thing. We're not in combat. Yeah. Okay. So she. So you were helping. Aries. Oh, that's why they did it. Yeah. And okay. so Aries got then advantage on that. Yeah, I would say hold. I would say hold that rage. I'm like, you, there's still yeah, ramping up. There's still just quite boiling. a bit of. You're <laughs> right now. I'm just so. As a reminder, so you said that you can only regain your rage after a long rest, right? Yeah. There's still quite a bit of dungeon left. Yeah. And you won't really be able to take a long rest while you're down here. Yeah, I just thought that I was doing a separate check. I didn't realize that I was no, helping. No, no, check. I know, but just, just like a little no, food right. for thought on that rage that you have. You only have one left, I only and have one um, left. yeah. Could show me yourself, Bruce Banner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's famously yeah. something that Bruce Banner has trouble with. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> so dirty twenty. So dirty twenty. Uh. Did we start to take it? <laughs> Did it move? <laughs> Bludge you a little bit. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like think about how to make it like. <laughs> we can run from fair, this hallway, right? Fair. How to like make it, it didn't fair. close behind us. We can go back into the bigger hallway. Actually, now that you said it. <laughs> 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 oh jeez. This is why you don't ask the DM questions. Arabella exactly. looks back to go and. <laughs> Pulse. Um, this is where we die. You're like, okay, help me with this. You turn around. You, Gulliver's like, I got you. Gulliver walks over. You, you kind of like, Ares gets on, on like the shoulder, kind on of the shoulders. Doing like um, the you try to get into like into like rip off the fingers for the sword, um, and you're like fucking like trying like muscles tense, like trying as much as you fucking can. And you're just it's taking every ounce of effort even to just move the fingers just a little bit. Yeah. And very quickly, all of the smaller muscles, like the muscles in your hands, uh, lower back, start to get tired from, from the sheer effort. Um, Gulliver not having much more, much more help there. And so you're realizing very quickly that the amount of effort, the, the amount of time it would take at that sustained level of effort to remove these weapons is not really feasible. So you, you're looking around and you're like, and then you see on its back a little sheathed dagger. And okay. so you're like, well, I could take that. And you take the sheathed okay. dagger. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. okay. I yeah. like that. I'll take that. Okay. Success. Yeah. 
Is it a cool looking dagger? And you've gained a sheathed dagger. <laughs> dagger. <laughs> An unsheathed dagger. The, 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 the sheath thing is attached yeah. to that thing mm-hmm. to the construct. Um, I will say sheath. that it is, it, is, it is heavy. It is a heavy dagger. Uh, probably in excess of about 20 pounds. It is pure metal. So uh. it is not meant for a mortal person to carry. It is yeah, meant yeah. for an armored. It's a heavy thing. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that I can't wield it, <laughs> so I just like, like, like shove it, like I just throw it down. Or like I, I was just like, if nobody wants it, I want it just away from that construct and just like. Deliver it. takes it, puts it right in his bag. Okay. Yeah. Even even for Gulliver, this is like a dagger. Is, this is like a, a like stick. It's like yeah. it is small for the construct. Big for like you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I assume so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the big old heavy hurt thing. Badly. Mm-hmm. Could could I see? Forgive me if you said this before. When I saw all the bodies, which was, I'm sure, a bit distracting. But did I see if there was an end to the hallway there? I might my, my my light. You saw sighted. bodies go that way. Oh. So the oh. So, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Bodies and At this walking? point, this construct, no, like just keep this construct is almost fully illuminated. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we want to just run past it then and um, uh, get to the other room? Tunnel of dead bodies. I don't. Um, do you want to face construct of dead bodies or both? Or we can should we get the her? construct? Do you think of it bodies? strings up people after it kills them and puts them here? Why do you have to suggest that? That is time for talking, me. guys. We gotta decide now. There's also the two other hallways yeah. that you did. So, well, we can hallways. just go somewhere else then. Yeah, Maybe let's we go. should just go somewhere else. Perhaps it will forget we're here. Is there, uh, do the bodies seem to be changing at all when the, with the mm-hmm. light pulsing? Okay. You can't hear any. I mean, you haven't looked, but you don't yeah. hear anything. Bro, yeah, it's basically it's just a quiet go. hallway with a slowly, this is, like, growing this is light. Hallway? This is another hallway. Okay. And then there's another hallway up here somewhere. We came from. And where's the door here. we came in? Oh, okay. So there's another one here. Right. And then there's one here. Correct. Okay. Let's go. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's so which one? I see. Let's go there. Okay. Let's pick a new hallway. This <laughs> one is full of bad, bad stuff. Just out of curiosity, the hallway we're heading into, how large is it? Twenty feet wide. Ah. Okay. Jones says, uh, I know we're moving quickly, uh, but it clearly can still follow us, so <laughs> something to keep in mind. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> to put That's us. how we die. <laughs> oh, wait. I have a question. It's out of charge. Yes. Is that other path next to where we came in through, mm-hmm. is it a smaller path? Mm-hmm. How small? Ten feet wide. Single file. Single file? You think that big construct would have trouble getting to there? Oh, I like what you're thinking. <laughs> Very shorty strategy. <laughs> you won't be able to wield it all the way because he... Yeah. That's great Neither he will I, though. <laughs> With my big sword. Well, then. <laughs> Use it as a battering ram. <laughs> you can always put it in my bag of holding. Could do that. You should hold it though, you like it so much. Yeah, it's great. I know how to stop the construct, but I will have to sacrifice my movable rod. Your what? Uh, <laughs> Just stick a movable rod into it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, worse comes to worst. Like At least temporarily. Well, definitely can damage it while yeah. he was trying to move through that <laughs> movable rod. Yeah. It and can fit it. through the hallway. Okay. Mm. Never mind then. So it's time to move with haste. <laughs> All right, so Actually, you know what? I like that, though. I like that, though. So I'm going to say it can't fit through the hallway. Oh. I like that, though. Hey, guys. I have an idea. I wonder, should we go this way? I think it's going to have trouble getting through here. I like it. It's a little cool. less than... You'll basically, like, shoulder with it. Just get... <clears throat> so it's a tighter hallway. This way? Yeah, That's the hallway how I imagine comes up the way. concert be like... Yeah. Sounds good? Brilliant. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll let's go, let's go, let's go, let's I go, go first because I'm, I'm the most scared. So <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll head that way. So first. you all kind of head up this way, up this little hallway. Yeah. Um, oops. Um, 
you kind of all shuffle as a group, kind of sticking close together. You all start going. You're going first? Yeah. Uh, would you roll survival for me? Sure. Just out of curiosity. A bad skill of mine. I don't... I don't What's that? That's a, that's a nine plus two. Eleven. Okay. Um, as you peer down the corridor, uh, Dr. Ford, you see ahead of you a faint flickering light becomes visible just ahead, like just down the hallway a bit. The light begins to move through the hallway away from you, sputtering and weaving just at the edge of your perception. There's something down this way. Perhaps some kind of a. I don't know what. And she'll just kind of keep following it. Because she thinks it's like a creature of some kind. And she likes animals. She's like, this is less scary than a big scary robot. Mm-hmm. That's charged up. <laughs> you follow. All of you following behind? Mm-hmm. Yes. After. After about 40 feet walking um, forward, you, you see that the, the, the hallway makes a hard right. And just always, every time you turn a corner, you see this little bobbing, flickering little light hiding behind another hallway. You follow the light another roughly 50, 5, 10, 50, 20, 25 feet. And then you see the, 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 the hallway turns left and opens up a little bit more. It's about 20 feet wide now. Okay. Just ahead, just at the edge of your peripheral, again, you see this little bobbing, flicking light hide behind the wall going to the left. If I... It's like me as a person, I think I know what these lights are. <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> and I'm trying to be like with Aries though. <laughs> Would I know from its behavior? Could I start, since I'm following it a little while, can I start You can to, make a nature check. Yeah, can I start to be like, is it a, is it an insect? Is it mm-hmm. kind of like, a little fey creature? Yeah. Like, I want to kill you creature. Yeah. What I'm thinking. Might be, that's a 12? With wisps or, some, or something. With a wisp? I hope, I hope it's not a will and wisp. That's a, Was a that a, is that what the name of the... It's a fey... Yeah, the fey creatures that are... Lights in the woods that lead you to your doom. Yeah. yeah. They're meant to get you lost. Mm. No, I was yeah, thinking of the ones that are kind of... They, they, they yes, the you have seen this before. You've heard of it as well. It's a small <laughs> lantern-like light that lures people into bogs and swamps and gets them lost. Call the Will-O-Wisp. Hold on, Ooh. hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean we shouldn't go this way, but following that light is going to get us lost. So do you share this do we with pass, anyone? Do we get a sense that there was, there, there was other like turns where, no. does it look like this a maze? Is, this, this is, well, not necessarily a maze, but there are no other ways to go. Yeah, yeah, so you can only go just this one. way or directly back to the hallway without yeah, okay, construction. Okay. Ah. I don't know where it's leading us, but it's nowhere good. So getting ready for anything? Uh, I think we should just turn around. Hmm. Back to the robot. <clears throat> back to the robot and the other hallway. And the dead bodies. Perhaps so I don't know what's, what's worse. <laughs> it's just like, p- pick your doom. <laughs> you should at least try the third hallway. Choose your adventure. Well, that is yeah. uh, We yeah. can make a dash for it. We don't know if the construct will already be moving. And at that point, blocking that path. It's true. We could just r- well, I can, I can. I can I run mean, and check. I mean, we can kill it. Do you want me to run and check if it started moving? Are they have dark fast? vision, so I want you. Yeah, so I want you guys to to stay where you are with your light sources. I don't want any light sources around me, and I want to sneakily go and kind of like and run back. We should go back a little ways. 
It says we went for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna dash. Okay. So 80 cool. feet. Okay. And then 80 feet back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, however many feet we want. We want. Let's, let's Are we all okay with that? Sure. Okay, yeah. so I peek what I see. It needs to be careful. Even before you peek, you hear and feel heavy footfalls. Okay, cool. I'm running back. <laughs> okay, so it's heavy footfalls. It's coming like down it is our moving. new path. We can't. It can't fit. It was getting no. closer, kind of footsteps. Yeah. Okay. It is moving towards us. Okay. Is there any way we can block it? Create a barricade? Fire on it from afar? I can create. As you say fire on it from afar, Dr. Jones just looks at his gun and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> If we're sure it doesn't fit, or if we're sure it doesn't well, shoot I back, can, I can cast yes, magical wouldn't be darkness. able to dodge much. <laughs> I'm not sure if this no. comes straight through the lines of the I could also perhaps speak to it. Let's try that first, maybe. While aiming, training our various weapons at its okay. head. I, I'm gonna go first with my shield, and you all get behind me. <laughs> and so she's gonna start cautiously heading back to the end of this tunnel, imagining she will meet the construct waiting for us. Will it talk like in the Boulder's Gate 3 or not? That's she's, the question. she's got a shield up as she's. Very nervously walking back. Okay. To the I, I took a moment to just double check some things. So please, so just rewind for a second and catch me up. So Aries went back and let you guys know it's walking. And then, yeah. and you're doing what now? Now we're heading we're back. To to we're going to try to talk to it. I'm going first. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of creating half cover with my shield. Okay. As I'm moving. Um. I'm ready to throw some bull bearings in front of it. Yeah, okay. me too. Cool. Cool. We cool. all have our ball bearings ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. I'm ready. I love that. Um, to throw I want to be behind Dr. Ford uh, to kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You all start going down. Again, the whole way that you're in is roughly 20 feet wide. You're able to go double file. But then you get to that first... Skinny going in reverse, you get to the... What was... So initially you walked up, you made a right, you walked down 50 feet, you walked 25 feet, and then you entered this double wide space. Yep. In the reverse, you're going down, you make a left, you go down the 25 feet. And at this point, in order to enter this, you are marching single file. Okay. Dr. Ford, you reach the end of the 25 feet and go to make that left to turn back. And what you see are two luminous bulbs of light about seven feet tall, staring down the hallway at you. Yep. She's going to cautiously walk toward it. And and, oh. and she'll say in, in and I, and I'm gonna common... Like, stay away from like its range of... Yeah. Like, I'll say, I, we, we mean you no harm. Are you a guardian of this place? No response. We <laughs> we are lost. <laughs> I'm just making a face. She'll just, just like continue to get closer. So we, we, are, we are lost. We are trying to make our way through. Try another language. No response. Uh, she'll say the same first thing, but she'll say it in uh, Elvish. She'll try. No response. Uh, will try. Is it looking only at Dr. Ford right now? It's hard to tell if it's okay, looking. It's it. just it's just two luminous bulbs. Okay, it, though they don't seem to have a direction. Yeah. I, I thought maybe it's like forward. How close so are you if, getting? If you turn. Gulliver's gonna yell and work a similar thing. See if there's any response. Yeah, D Dr. Ford will yell over her shoulder like, try other languages. I only know a few. Gulliver tries Undercommon and Orc. I'll try Primordial if that helps. No responses from anything. At that point, uh, Dr. Jones will chime in with uh, Celestial. No response. I will. Gulliver takes... I throw a bull bearing at its 
Oh, no. Um, does it look at me now? It doesn't respond. It is just standing there sent like a sentinel staring down the hallway it's that you guys... It's standing, it's not moving? It is not moving. Is it brandishing the sword or is it still just, Thank you. just holding the sword in like to its chest mm -hmm. uh, like it was before? I did not That's a great question. Like, like is it... Has it changed how it's holding its weapon? Or is it still just kind of like holding it? Mm. Okay. Like sword in one hand. Could strike with it. Okay. How mad would you all be if I tried something Don't waste your spells. Let's kind of insane? <laughs> It's not a spell slot thing. Oh, then do it. <laughs> yeah, it's do a, it. it's a, do it. it's a make myself a lore tactic. Make yourself a what? A lore, like a fishing lure. Ah. Like draw it away from the tunnel. I have missiles. I can mm. put myself on the other side of it. They can turn around and follow me. You all run out. Yeah. And then you and just I, sacrifice yourself. <laughs> I have to just get it. I mean, he's Keep a big, running. slow robot, so I'm smaller and more nimble, and I could just try yeah, to. Yeah, but that get reach of that robot will be like a big. That's the. Swing. That'd be the risk. But it's. Them's the risk. You know? I, I'm. So, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll much ask. faster than you, though. It's true. You, you might be better with this. And I have, Do like, patient deception. I have patient defense and I'm kind of like nimble, so I'm thinking more like. You can't miss these. I can't make you miss this stuff. No, I don't think so. So the question for me is is that something Dr. Ford would actually do? For people <laughs> he's trying to protect, yeah. Okay. Because. Um. Misty Step is 30 feet, right? 30 no, feet. it's 60. Um, it, is, sure? it is actually 60. Yeah. I might be missing that guy. Up to 30 yeah. feet to an unoccupied space that you can okay, see. Okay, then I'm mixing it with something else. So you would be yeah. directly behind it. Right, Dimension Door? Dimension Door is 500. Dimension is 500. 500. Yeah, Dimension and what is my... Okay. The nice thing about Dimension oh, Door no, is you I can think take someone uh, with you. I think it's 60 in Baldur's Gate. Sorry. No, I know. It's easy to. to yeah. so um, Wait, I can go like I can try to go under it. How often can you do Misty Step? Once a short rest. Oh. I haven't used it yet. How many key points do you have, Eris? Two? I think it's two. Mm. Oh, no, I have All three right. left. Three. Three left. Can anybody make themselves small? Like, smaller than that. Smaller than me? Yeah. Oh. As you're all standing there, you're all standing in the hallway having this conversation about, well, I can miss the step. I could do this. Maybe I could like do this and do some acrobatic stuff, whatever, whatever. Uh, you all take three points of poison damage from just standing around. How much? Sorry. That's three. very fair. Three. Thank you. That's, that is fair. Um, yes. I'm glad you think my adjudications are fair. You're not, you're not over the top of it. Um, yes, you feel fair. <laughs> I kill you all with poison gas. The monsters have nothing to fight. Except for the little guy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm glad we're not back there. <laughs> um, so what <laughs> if I put someone inside my bag of holding? And they suffocate in there. And yeah. Well, after 15 minutes. Oh. And then threw it underneath his legs. And somebody has to pop them out. They can't leave it yeah. in the bag by themselves. And then you pop out and just... Give yeah, him right in the crotch. Dr. Jones just keeps looking at the machine and he's like, 
I don't know what we can do. Can you tell what kind of energy is coming off of it? He's looking around to anyone who can do arcana checks. Oh, um, yeah, when, we were, when we saw it's charging, uh -huh. Thank you so much. while we're waiting, is it going down? No. Oliver's going to, <laughs> no. oh, that's going to, uh, going to try to figure out what kind of magic it is using his studies of the arcane. Okay, you can make an what arcana check. He's taking out <laughs> different <laughs> notebooks and different like reference materials I can't that um, he has on him. Doctor Ford is slowly getting a little closer. That's uh, just a, it's a and, natural and one. You're seeing God damn it. If it's responding <laughs> to me being closer. So How close I'll, are you getting? I'll go to fifteen feet. So I'll go. I'll go one more. One more square. Ten feet away. Fifteen feet. Uh, Like very like like barely even like stepping to see like is it responding to me being closer at all? As you get closer to it, you can feel a very mild heat emanating from it. Okay. And you see for a moment uh, that it adjusts down to you, and it shifts a little bit. It, it doesn't move to attack, but it's certainly responding to you. I clearly have do to look at my sheet more. I do have proficiency in Arcana. Me? So I'm going to do an Arcana no, check on it. they're all in his bag. Oh, okay. The mask. I wanted to know if he's all in the mask. Yeah, he might be. That's... Uh, that's yeah, what I was asking you. Yeah, like, yeah, we could put the mask somewhere else. You're trying to see what kind of magic it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to be very specific, I'm trying to see if it. You said I feel heat? <laughs> can I shower it with water? You can do whatever you want. I'm going to back up to the group. Okay. Still kind of watching, but I'll get until I'm a safe 30 feet away. Okay. <laughs> do it, but I'll 30 feet of distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and you're going to. I just want to know if it's like celestial, elemental, fey, or kind of a fey. Elemental. I'm going to pour some water. What? If it's a heat energy, it might short it out. Or at least just screw it up. Maybe it'll do nothing. Okay. Maybe it'll make him angry. At, at this point, we're not doing well. He can't fit, so hopefully that's okay. As, as you're doing that, by the way. Yeah. What you guys will notice, as I'm doing almost any check, I have my pipe in my mouth. So while doing this Arcana check, you see little runes on it are glowing. Mm. Let's go. Ooh, that's sick. I love it. And I'll wait till you're done, and well, then I'll try. It's heat, heat energy, when you ask if anybody knows. So I say it is heat. And so because of that, I'm going to see if I can douse the flames. Do any, any uh, shoulder, symbol, and hold out her hand and I will create 10 gallons of clean water above it okay above its head okay and it will rain uh, it says I can I can actually create rain in a 30 foot cube okay so I can make it rain kind of all around it okay how long will it rain is it a concentration make it, rain, it, make it rain. is not it is an action and so I guess in time wise it would be six seconds oh it's like a one okay. is it can you like hold it in place or is it just like a splash? no he creates and it's, then it just falls it's a 30 foot cube so it's just there that so it's way. almost like a bucket challenge yeah yeah well I wait but a 30, either, that's different so i can either fill it says you can fill a container with 10 gallons of clean water or but i mean in terms of the volume of water dumping on it it says, alternatively, <laughs> water falls as rain in a 30-foot cube within range, extinguishing exposed flames in the area and things like that. Okay, so okay. That's, I'm doing the rain version. <clears throat> okay. okay. I'm making it rain. <laughs> I like the bucket challenge. <laughs> Do you have just a, like a magical bucket appears to be. She says, I'm trying to douse the flames. I challenge you. You, you create, flames, uh, all of you see. Gomer says, get wet. <laughs> <laughs> All of you look uh, and kind of watch with anticipation as you see Ford uh, grab her amulet and, and create this thing. You see the, the, the air and the light above this, this 
this armor seems to shimmer and distort as water materializes out of nowhere, the, the space beyond it becoming like um, uh, opaque. Uh, and, and then eventually the rain starts to fall down. As the rain starts falling, it immediately hits this armor and starts sizzling and turning, like even before the rain hits it, it is already evaporating, turning to mist. And what ends up happening is the six seconds of rain becomes a very hot sauna environment for the entire corridor and the area around you. As all the rain immediately dry. steams and, uh, and Anybody have any uh, lightning spells? It's good for our cores. I have some punching. Mm. Punching lightning? No, it just punching. Oh, okay. <laughs> you may burn your hands. Mm. Well, that's what the weapons are for. <laughs> well, Dr. Jones looks at you. You think you can get by it? That's what I wanted to try. So, what Ares wants to do? He wants to, to do acrobatic check and try to like sweep under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under it, on the other side of it. Okay. Because uh, he's like, this is not going anywhere. We're not going there. We're not. I, I will warn you. You you may get an opportunity attack. Right, right, right. I understand. Okay. As you're getting prepared to do that, you just see Dr. Jones again puts his mouth, his pipe in his mouth, and he just taps on his shoulder. And he's like, good luck. And he's gonna cast protection from good and evil, specifically against elementals. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's smart. All right. I love yeah, that. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. So, oh, like fuck yeah. So, like and here I was worrying I was going to kill you all. How does this work? <laughs> so, so, we just have to pick the protection from good and evil. Yeah. You have to pick which yes. element. Yes. Okay. And then what is a grant? So, it grants. Uh, so, Ares can no longer be charmed, frightened, or possessed by the creature. But okay. also, the creature attacking it has disadvantages on it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so um, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna put a, like a little D here for disadvantage to remind me. Just, just for now. We'll get past it. Okay, so here's the. Okay, thing. talk to me. Tell me what you're doing. Wait. wait. Do we want to oh. do a movable rod up his ass? Or no? I wouldn't <laughs> say right here because we need to get by him. Yeah. No, I I'm just in general. Do we do we want to try to waste so, it or not? So, so surely. Yes. Uh, sure. Of course, looking up to his his man. He. He damage. does yeah. a similar thing. Did you grab the uh, errors? Yeah. He put a hand, kind of almost like <laughs> imitating uh, 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 um, Dr. Jones. And he's just like, wait, wait, wait. I got you too. And then he casts <laughs> guidance. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Being blessed left and right. Now let's you see can, if the dice You can is almost blessed. feel that he was trying really hard to cast what he just cast. <laughs> oh. but, he, but the closest he could do is guidance, which is a cantrip. Oh, I keep fucking love, love this so much. I love this. <laughs> so good. Um, and I'm also gonna do. What are we gonna do? Oh, I forgot. That's a different type of monk. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the movement. I'm trying to get okay. on the other side of it, of, okay. of this thing. Okay. Like, we'll, we'll start with that, and we'll see how that will go. Okay. We'll have to kind of go. Uh, here we go. Because I don't want to say what I'm doing, because it might go just up. Well. Yeah, it's up. Higher up. Okay, I would, I would ask, because if it goes well, I want to be able to narrate it. But go ahead and go for it. Well, here's the thing. That's also, like, a thing to try to get underneath him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I will be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. let's do that first and okay. see how that goes. Okay. Okay. And then what it would be? Acrobatics? What it would be? Yes. Plus eight, so Ooh. whatever. 26. 26. Uh, yes, okay, okay. 26. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm assuming it's probably going to go well. So I'm... Uh, um, Yeah, so I'm kind of running down the hall and trying to like slid under it while um, trying to damage his leg. Okay. Yeah. With what do I have? You try to like you know sweep the leg. Kind of like tendon, uh, tendon yeah. yeah. but I know it's a robot. Put but I'm like I'm trying bag. to find the little <laughs> like knots yeah. and stuff, whatever the moving part. <laughs> trying to kind of. Actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna take some ball bearings and I'm trying to stuff it into like okay. <laughs> basically the moving parts so it's yeah, hard for him to move. Jump in the joints. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't know what Solid I need to roll for that. <laughs> I love that idea. 
He was thinking of letting us go, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I can make spikes. Not the ball bearings, oh no! Spikes, spikes, spikes. So yeah, I'm kind of like going under, just in, 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 underneath, in any sort of like little cracks in, in the armor. I'm just shoving ball bearings. I have like a thousand of them. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, going Amazing. behind. And to carry thing. this through, like a confetti. <laughs> what do you do when you reach the other side? You didn't think this far? <laughs> <laughs> just like, what if I get stuck and he sits on me? I don't know. Um, I mean, I would say go this So way. you're trying to attack with ball bearings, right? Well, I'm trying to make it hard to move. Or when it's trying to move, it's going to like slowly start damaging because it's getting in the mechanics of it. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay. But I'm going to get on the other side and um, yeah, I'll start. I'll try. I will attack it from the back. Oh. Okay. But I, I was th I thought maybe this takes an action to do all of this, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think I, I can do much after that. Um, you tell me what I have in terms of action and bonus action and all of that. Treasure. Treasure. Hmm? Are you gonna be the, the the armor for us so we can have a live play? Like you should like start slowly standing. Yeah, let's transition into LARP. <laughs> I mean, I'm done LARP. It's fun. Yeah, it sounds fun. Okay. Do a big brawl in Hexaco. Okay. So, sorry. You really don't knock over everything, but if you two could just act this out. No, but I feel it. Like, I want to stretch through this. So, so get up, man. from here and slide under. Yeah. yeah, we can do it. Right? People are like, what are you doing? It's like an airplane. Just start walking up and down. So do I get the... Like, yeah. I need to roll to get the... Okay, as okay. Ball bearings. Yeah. Before? All right, guys. As we can. Okay. <laughs> you started your run from where? Here? What were you? I guess, yeah. Whatever the... 20, I have 40 feet of movement, so I, I would do, like, run, slide. Right, right, right. Up here, back. I mean, go either way. Okay. For damage, I think... If you agree with this, we'll we'll have you. Um, right we'll say that automatically hits, but for the damage, we'll say that you roll an unarmed strike for for the for the Ball damage. Bearing? Yeah, for like yeah. for the because you you're trying to hit it with this. I'm not hitting. I'm more of like dropping them in the cracks, so eventually we'll start like basically damaging itself inside of it, all of it, okay. just over time, kind of. Okay. But I don't know how we want to do. There's some initial. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to start damaging when it starts moving or not. Like, uh, that's well, the I moment that you engage with it in an attempt to destroy it in any capacity, we're going into initiative. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> um, that's why I'm, I'm thinking, like, in I mean, order... It could be ongoing like, damage over time. It could be friendly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's what, yeah. what I was saying. Like, we're getting points and this bitch is getting bull bearing damage. <laughs> yeah. Do you think 1d4 per round is fair? Okay. Yeah, that's very good because they are small, so it's not. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Just wear and wear. <coughs> yeah. I need. And if it's a roll six, it means well, it's not somewhere well, really good. Well, no, I should have my old friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just use I, this. I just, I just did the whole like, yes, what did, what did they uh, throw rice for the wedding? So then I did that <laughs> with, with bull bearings. I'm like, here you go. <laughs> just, Pocket sand. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> no, but it was more like a. Um, where the joins are, I'm like. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, we, yeah. it was a long it's road, but we got to like, initiative. Okay. <laughs> okay. You all have your conversation. As you're talking, you start coughing. You take a little bit of poison damage. Uh, eventually, you're like, guys, we gotta get this done. And so, Aries, you're like, all right. I'm gonna try this. You start running. As you start approaching. Within, as soon as you get within 15 feet, you can start feeling the heat emanating mm -hmm. from this thing. Um, That's why I'm not trying to touch it, I'm like throwing them into... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you slip through its legs successfully. You manage to pop out on the other side. You throw four, like three, four little ball bearings into it. Um, but just being that close, within, the, the, within that close, you still take three points of, of fire damage, of heat damage. Is that something I'm protected from? Huh? Yeah. I don't remember. Whatever the... No, just it's attacks. Just attacks. It's attacks. attacks. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I don't... I, I don't remember. Okay, cool. Well, how, how much was it? Three. three. Thank three. you. Mm -hmm. And it can't charm or... 
Okay. Test you in any way. So and now that Aries has officially right. taken the first swing, the roll initiative, bitches. Oh, wait, did I press it twice? I think I pressed it. I just pressed it twice. Yeah. I think you did. I think you were. You were. Oh, okay. Yeah, 25. Okay. Are you going to be friendly now? Nice, nice. Okay. Initiative? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Seven. Seven? Plus. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, hold on. Who rolled? Uh, hang, uh, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang yeah. on. Uh, Dr. Ford, was that you that rolled seven? Yes. What did you roll? Eighteen. Fuck yeah. Um, Gulliver? Three total. Three. Aries? <coughs> uh, Sixteen. Fuck yeah. Shorty? Nineteen. Oh, Fuck okay. yes. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Um, so to start us off, we've got Shorty, followed by Jones, followed by Aries, mm -hmm. The Construct, Ford, Gulliver. I can't remember I'm in the middle. Hmm? <laughs> I, 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 I know, I'm just uh, saying it. I, yeah. I don't think... I, I want to say, so it was an action for me to throw the bull bangles, correct? Yeah. yeah. So I still have bonus action. So, and how much feet did I run? 30? That was... Like uh, 20? Uh, One, two, I think we said it was 15 to here. And then the little 15, slide is probably another... So 20, so I have another 20 feet? Yeah. Um, or like 15 feet? Although it may get an opportunity attack. I don't care. How far are we trying to go with this combat for this session? Well, we yeah, have one always. person on the other side, so we're committed. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean for like... For tonight, for like tonight you mean? Right now. Oh. Yeah. oh, is the camera yeah. yeah, ages ago. Yeah, it's 9.30. 9.40. 9.40. Oh, yeah, do we want to stop here? Is it 9.40? I could swear it was just 9. It's 9.40. You guys talk a lot. We do. <laughs> this is true. We do, we do a, lot, a lot of talking on this. Start heading back. Yeah, so you want to start. We'll pin it here. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, it we'll seems like an elegant. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. It is. I think it was This is good. Yeah, this is good. Slide. Um, I don't know we'll how to tough this the guy is, but it seems like context I have everything clear. Yes. I have the initiative saved in the computer. I have all the notes here. So, so well, whatever the, the condition I have from them also. So yeah, so the thing that I'm doing is uh, yeah. concentration spells. So is it good for 10 minutes or until I get smacked really hard? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have a note of that, that you have that concentration? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I still have guidance on me. Unless, unless we say... Should I, should I stop recording? Yes.